I'm Laura from Milk Bar and in this clip I'm going to take you through the all-in-one suction kit, how to disassemble it, clean it and reassemble it ready for use. So here is the all-in-one kit and before you use your breast pump or handle any of the parts be sure to wash your hands thoroughly um, before going ahead and um, handling. So once you've done that, we can start to take the kit apart. It's going to come looking something like this, and then obviously you'll have your bottles at home. Uh, so to disassemble your kit, I always like to start from the top and take off the cap. We set the cap aside, and this one does not get submerged in water. You can wipe it down from time to time on the top if it needs it. Then you're going to take off the little silicon diaphragm that sits in the top and pop that in the to be washed pile. You can take off this uh, dust cap and pop it aside as well. And then we want to remove the all-in-one piece from the inside of your pump. So you can take the edging off and then underneath you just want to pop off the valve like so and pull it out of your kit. So that all gets washed. And you'll see your casing, this can be washed. Uh, so, little bottle as well, obviously, can be washed. You take the four pieces here that need to be washed, um, and you need to wash them with a little bottle brush and hot, soapy water. Um, and you can use the smaller brushes um, to wash down into the little valve, but I do just ask to be very gentle please when popping it down into here because this valve is quite delicate, um, quite a thin silicon, if you damage that valve in any way, tear it or press it too hard so that it remains open or not sitting flush like so when you're pumping, you won't get the suction that you need to pump effectively and you'd need to replace this part. So, once you've done the scrub and wash in the hot soapy water, rinse these all really thoroughly. Then you can sterilize them, and you can use any method you please. That can be boiling water for five minutes. It can be a steam sterilizer in the microwave. Follow their instructions. It can be a UV sterilizer. Again, follow their instructions or you can use the sterilizing tablets and those again have instructions of their own depending on the brand you use. Our preference for you to use is a steam sterilizer or a UV sterilizer to get the most life out of your silicon parts. Okay, so once you have given them a good clean and they're nice and dry, if you're in a hurry and you need to dry them early, a clean paper towel um, to take off any excess water will be okay. So once you have that, let's get our silicon, uh, sorry, our pump body and pop in our silicon diaphragm into the top. Make sure this is really nice and centered and seated well. Once that is in, we can take our cap and screw that onto the back there and make sure it is nice and snug. After you've popped it on, you can thread this piece back through the pump body and just give that a little pull and make sure you seat the valve up nice and snug into the suction kit and then this should just fit around the um, rim of that pump body, nice and firm and snug. Once you've got that there, if you're going to pump, obviously you would add your bottle underneath and give that a good tight fit. Uh, if you're going to store, you can use your dust cap or if you're going to be pumping, pop your tubing into there, connect it to your pump. Um, the tubing only needs a wipe down from time to time, it again does not get submerged in water and once you've got it all connected in, you're ready to go. I hope that helps 
And if you have any questions at all, we're here to help. So email us at info at and we'll be with you in no time.